Indigenous Peoples of Russia. Yanni, have Thank the floor. You. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. UNDRIP Article 44 states, all the rights and freedoms recognized herein are equally guaranteed to male and female indigenous individuals. The declaration obliges states to abstain from violations of the rights of indigenous peoples. Today, however, we clearly see how the Russian government not only violates indigenous rights domestically, but treats the rights of indigenous peoples at the international level in a manipulative manner. We have reached a point where indigenous peoples themselves inevitably start to violate the rights of their own kin instead of, of joining the struggle for the defense of our rights. Divide and conquer is an old strategy of the Russian Empire. The Russian government used indigenous peoples as propaganda, as propaganda tools at all levels, including, unfortunately, United Nations. They have forced us to leave the country because we spoke truth to power. And now they are trying to silence us by saying that we have no right to speak out on the issues facing our brothers and sisters who are still living in Russia. Let me assure you, those of us who had to leave homeland due to reprisals by the state or due to harassment by corrupt businesses acting in collusion with the state have not become less indigenous. We also have not become less vocal about the rights of indigenous peoples. Someone has to continue to talk the consequences of colonialism for indigenous peoples in Russia. Someone has to continue to support those who can't speak for themselves for fear of reprisals, criminalizations, uh, forced mobil mobil mobilization, violations of the rights of women in and girls in Russia, and for whom justice in current Russia is out of reach. We, all indigenous peoples, must abide by the principles of justice, democracy, respect for human rights, equality, non-discrimination, good governance, and integrity as set on in the declaration. We recommend that in MRIP, while monitoring the implementation of decisions of MRIP and other UN bodies, undertake its own verification of the accuracy of information provided by states and other stakeholders using independent reputable sources. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Kanagashiva, for your statement. Um, we've got time for one more speaker, so I'd like to give the floor to Celeste Haidani from the BCT.